here with Alex, Alex from Mississippi, yeah. and uh, me, Tim, obviously. Um, we're going to be doing a little special prequel, if uh, you'd like to call it that, for the American Hammers TV Fantasy League show, Fantasy Premier League show. So that'll be kind of cool. Alex will be your host on um, most likely Tuesday nights, right? I think we can talk about that. Yeah, so Tuesday nights, which is good because it's after, you know, the Monday night game. You know, all the games for the week should be over for the most part, so we can really go dig deep into the results. Uh, I do want to thank uh, every everybody, really, everybody who's subscribed to the channel lately. And um, and also, would we have 100 now? Yeah, we got 100 now. I went back and looked at the uh, like the timeline when I was sending you stuff. It You know, it, it ended up being 17, and the next thing you know, it's 50, and then, you know, it's 60, and then, yeah. It's it's really phenomenal. Um, I have literally hoard out my Twitter. Um, yeah, thank you, by the way, because I've been uh, yeah, so it, busy with other things. It's pretty much like me and Donald Trump, just completely making asses of ourselves on Twitter. Um, but, <laughs> but effective though, you were very effective, man. You got very effective. I didn't think we get a hundred. It's been you know, nice. I, I, you know, and I've literally worked every angle. Um, I pretty much da uh, dared uh, James Corden to ja join our league. Yeah. Um, I invited adult uh, film star Mia Khalifa because uh, I saw her with a you know jersey, and I was like, "Hey, why yeah. not? Why not? You know, just I mean, it is. I think it's, it's just the absurdity of just having fun with it, and uh, anybody can join. And something you said the other day that really, you know, really kind of resonated was just unearthing a lot of people. Um, yeah. And it's something that we. You know, we, we've all kind of got together, and you know, you kind of got a common, uh, you know, commonality of, uh, of what you enjoy, and then really being able to find people. And I don't know if you checked the email that I sent you um, today, uh, a roster of uh, all the countries that uh, have participated. Um, did you check that out? Did you see no, that? No, I'm doing it right now. No. <laughs> okay. So sorry. Well, we'll uh, we'll go we'll through that right real now. quick. Um. Alex. Yes, the email. Okay, so basically, I had a little roster here somewhere. Let me go through that. Um, let's see. Yeah, wow. Yeah, exactly. Holy cow. This is like, it's just honestly, though, Alex, I, I, I haven't really shared you, uh, share the analytics of the channel with you, but um, uh, I think it's like 60% of our viewers are from the UK. Just so you yeah, know. And, and and actually, that's where it trends on yeah. the on the fantasy numbers. Wales, yeah. I mean, Northern Ireland, I see in there. That's cool. Nigeria, that's awesome. Actually, the Nigeria one's a funny story. Like Saturday night, you know, I'm, I'm you know, obviously I'm, you know, doing all that, and this guy's name comes up, and you know, and not you know, we're not profiling people, but yeah, you know, that guy ain't from around here. Um, so I try to find him on Twitter, couldn't find him. Then I figured out his name. He's actually uh, in medical school in Nigeria. Really? And uh, the thing that kind of <laughs> upset me was I'm scrolling through and it's like your favorite team, uh, Manchester City. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> so I actually got him on Messenger um, and started chatting with him. And he's just like, hey, I like uh, I like Pep. You know, I like, I like this. But he joined our league. I'm like, all right, that's cool. I mean, you know, more the merrier. Um one of the countries represented was Jersey. I was like, what did, he, did New Jersey just like, you know, like secede and make its own country. Uh, but actually I didn't know this. Uh, Jersey is actually a, an Island in the uh, English channel owned by uh, you know, part of England. It's kind of on the French side of France. You know, side of I didn't channel. know that either. Yeah. I saw I that. Know, like, yeah, they, so on Jersey's own country. <laughs> yeah, Jersey just made his own country. Uh, one thing I would want to point out: um, Canada, one person. Are you shitting me? Really? Yeah. So you need to get get with your boy Scott. Uh, oh, and, Adam from uh, Green Street Hammers. Right on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So one Canadian, one. That's and nuts. I'm I'm really disappointed in Canada. Seriously. Uh, well, yeah. we have someone in the chat room already that's uh, in our league, which is kind of cool. He's already chatting away. Is Gabe? Gabe, our um, long, almost, I think he's probably our longest-serving viewer <laughs> of our show. <laughs> um, he wants us to mention that his team 
name in <laughs> is uh, I love or I heart Fabianski. So he thought I'd get a kick out of that because of last year's, um, you know, hammer of the year. Um, God, I was like a, totally against it, but um, having a goalkeeper for hammer of the year. But anyway, um, no, well, actually, really cool. actually, actually, at some point, I do want to go through the names because some of oh, these well, are definitely, very... definitely. I want to know what your favorite is so far, and and, and vice versa. Yeah, we'll mention that at some yeah. point. Uh, but basically, yeah, it's really cool that um, you know, number one, this many people, and you know, a good chunk of them have been on the show, which is neat in one way, shape, or form. Uh, whether they, um, yeah, I mean, look, Holly Worthington, man. I mean, she's she's on here. We had her. That was one of our first UK guests. Actually, our first UK guest. Um, and I see Jason Ewells, who we have interviewed recently uh, from the UK. And yeah, that's that's just really cool, man. Um, Westy Hammerett, that's, she's uh, huge on Twitter. Yeah, most of these are like Twitter, Twitter people. You know what I mean? For the most part, which is cool yeah. because that's where you've been working the, the, yeah. the hardest. So I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Ryan Walsh we've had on the show. Clint uh, Hall we've had on the show. Dave Sperry we're going to have on Thursday, uh, this Thursday. Noah Thomas from Memphis, we just had him on. Um, yeah, Alex he and I have been chatting. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Because you're only a couple hours away, right? Yeah. So we, we, we were talking about, uh, you know, getting together with some. He's actually, again, uh, uncovered a lot of fans uh, in the Memphis area. And uh, they've got a, uh, a USL team, and I'm like, hey, why don't, you know, if we do something, let's go, let's go to that game. Yeah, you know, let's let's all go to a game and you know, wear our jerseys and and represent there. That's awesome, you know, and um, that's what the whole show was about to begin with. When we when we first started out, you know, I'll even pull it up um, on our Instagram. I made a post, about, I think maybe like the third week into doing the show. Um, which basically explained the mission, you know, back then. And it has not changed one bit. And boy, I've made so many uh, posts here that I got to scroll through. Um, yeah, uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll read it out loud because I, I don't want to, I, I butcher even my own quotes. So, <laughs> um, or right, here it is. So basically, our mission is simple. And this is for the show, by the way, American Hammers TV and the channel in general. And we have, we have massive plans that we'll discuss in upcoming episodes. Uh, for what's to come, um, we're going to branch out and do a lot of different cool things and add a lot of content, especially when the season starts, like this show. This show is going to be awesome with Alex. Alex, is, I can just already see it, man. You're going to be a great host. Um, so our mission is simple. We want to expand the West Ham fan base in America. Uh, we want to unite the supporters. That, In, in other words, you, you know, not just unite them, but um, unearth them, like I'd said before. We also want to provide insight. Uh, from the American West Ham supporters groups um, and also just, you know, it's kind of changed to like, you know, American West Ham fans. We want to give the insight from our perspective on current West Ham news, etc. because, you know, it is interesting, you know, with, with the, all the different, um, different walks of life that, that uh, watch or I'm sorry, support West Ham all over the world, really. Um, like we've had the dude from, you know, my buddy Neil from Australia, had him on and getting his perspective is really cool compared to someone from California whose perspective is different than someone say from Mississippi or, or up North, you know, where I am. And, um, and then obviously the English guests that we've had on, it's really cool. So I'm so happy to see, you know, that email that you sent me, um, with that list of different people, like United Arab Emirates. Really? That's awesome. You know, when I, I mean. was going, when I was going through Twitter, you would be surprised at the groups in, uh, Indonesia, like there were like tons of them, and they all had their own logos. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was it was legit. Like they they all now only we only have one represented, um, but like Ghana, uh, I talked to the guy there, and he's like, hey, there's three of us that work the handle for the Twitter handle, yeah. and and one of them you know showed up and the, is participating. Um, Serbia out of nowhere, you know, that's awesome. Um, this, this is so cool, man. Yeah, so. so it, yeah, go ahead. It's going to be a lot of fun. So first and foremost, it is just a whole heck of a lot of fun. But we will at the end of it all, which it's going to be many, many, many months away. So I'm not even going to you know, mention exactly what the prize would be. But um, so, since it's not like a pay in type of thing, this is free for everybody to do. Um, we're not going to be giving out any cash prizes, but um, we'll definitely give away a, 
American, I'm sorry, an American Hammers TV care package per se. Like, you know, a T-shirt, um, one of these fancy mugs uh, from DrinkWareDesign.com. And, um, you know, by then we'll have scars and stuff. So, you know, a nice care package. And, yes, we will ship it to anywhere in the world, um, you know, based off of who, you know, wins the league, really. So can you explain to the viewers a little bit more about how this league actually is going to play out or work? Um in, in what way as far as... So, like, is, I mean, the format, I guess you'd say. Uh, to, to, so, basically, how how would there be a winner? Well, this the, the, the leagues are, are done two different ways. You, you can either do head-to-head -head or you can just do a cumulative uh, point. Mm -hmm. and, and I do think that's probably something that I might want to cover next week is the rules. I think a lot of people gotcha. um, didn't understand the rules, didn't understand how to, you know, pick the teams yeah um and, and really i uh, just like anything there is strategy to it and and one of the things you know when i've really been thinking about this is you know how to come up with uh with with content how to come up with uh you know a weekly you know something to talk about every week uh, and i'm yeah hopefully i'm not getting off off you know subject a little bit but I, I think two things that we really need to do with this is um is entertain and and inform um i think that's with anything that you do with any kind of show like this so I, I figure if we do 25% um, entertainment and 25% uh, informative, we'll be pretty, you know, we'll do at least do a half-assed job. So, what, so to answer your, your, your real question, um, I, I think that's something we need to go through and, uh, and, and explain the rules to a lot of people. And uh, as well, uh, just explain the angle, right? Yeah, just now, explain people how it works. Yeah, and, and I've tried to share this with a couple of people. Very brief, uh, the the website that that the Premier League puts on does a phenomenal job of helping people figure it out. Yeah. Um, all the data is there, all the players are there, all the information is there. All you have to do is just really dive in and really you know start watching it. And, it, and just like fantasy football in the states it makes you watch other games other than West Ham um, and, and really appreciate the other players and, and, and what's going on and the trends and something that I have found is and something I want to share is a lot of different websites. Um, I mean, everybody's got a, you know, a different play and a different idea of who they should draft, what players hot and what's not. So I think a lot of it, you know, is up for debate. You know, people have emailed me and I see this on Twitter, you know, Hey, what do you think about my team? And, uh, you know, the beauty's in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> you know, sometimes you look at yeah. somebody's team and you're like, that team sucks. Yeah. You know, but but again, everybody's different. I think that's where the, the conversation kind of starts. Why did you pick this guy? Well, you know, what what do you think about this? And, and I think that's where a lot of dialogue can come from. Oh, yeah. And um, injuries happen. Just like uh, predicting the table. You know what I mean? Like we were talking about yeah. uh, the last few episodes that injuries could happen. You know, uh, for like for us, Alaire. I mean, a lot of these people, I guarantee you, are going to be picking Alaire as their number one striker. And <laughs> I mean, anything can happen, man. I don't want that to happen. Obviously, you can't, you know, knock on wood, man. But um, it's like, I'll, I'll give for example because I'm not really going to be on. Um, you know, what I'd like to have happen is that you invite like one or two, yeah, different guests from the league. Like any, anyone who's in this league is more than welcome to join the show at some point during the season. Uh, and you know, reach out to us or um, what's your handle again on Twitter exactly? Uh, MS Hammers. MS Hammers. So yeah, um, reach out to at MS Hammers and uh, see if you can get on the show with him. And um, I, I would love to have that so that you guys can banter about what's coming up and also what just happened and what kind of injuries happened over the weekend or or who you know just discuss the stats. You know that based off of. Um, the teams like who is in the bottom and is now all of a sudden jumped uh, jumped to the top on our uh, table, uh, etc. Like stuff like that. You can make a whole fun of it, a whole lot of it. And we're doing um, we're only doing a a short you know thirty minute episode today. But generally, I mean, you can go as long as an hour if you want. You can do whatever you want. You can go up to three hours, dude. I don't care. I mean, whatever you you know. Seriously, if you have the time to do it, do it. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, so basically what I was getting at was I'm going to go ahead and um, mention my team. So, <laughs> uh, Oh, okay. So we can talk about your team right now. Yeah. I, yes. So I'm assuming that the team that I – I mean, we were able to pick teams already, right? Because I picked a team, I thought. 
Yes, I mean you, you can go ahead and start, and you actually have free picks, uh, free transfers, yeah. uh, as many times as you want until the season starts. And I, I was telling somebody today, I'm so gullible. Like every time I read a story, I run and change my team. Um, yeah. And it's uh, you know it, it can get kind of at some point you're just like, yeah, screw it, I'm I'm done. Like, I, pick, I, I picked a team like basically when it you know had opened up and. I know it says here that uh, you know the d- the deadline is uh, August 9th at uh, fourteen hundred hours. That's weird. Um, anyway, um, basically, I picked it right away as soon as I had a chance to pick a team. I did, and based off of the amount of money that they give you to uh, you know to to pick with, um, I obviously picked James Tompkins, and then he ends up. I mean, he's not even he's injured. He's so he's. He's gonna, be the, he's gonna be the captain on the bench. Um, no, he's not the captain, but anyway, he's on the bench. So basically, I um, I got like a four three three going on, and I have um, Dabianski in goal. A lot of people have um, yeah, actually. You the, hear that one? Yeah. The, well, the stats kind of show that uh, from from the Spurs. Uh, what's I, and that's the problem I'm gonna have this year is pronouncing everyone's names. Yeah. I, I really feel like I'm gonna be like a drunk Harry Carey trying to explain <laughs> somebody's name. Uh, so I'm totally gonna butcher these. Who do you have? Do you have your team up already, or do you want to go over? Yeah, I was or? actually gonna. I was gonna go through that. Let's, let's um, do it position by position, I guess. Just yeah, like yeah, I'll say my goalkeeper. Can... So who who's your goalkeeper? See, this is where my screen is kind of messing up a little bit. Uh, you share my screen? Yeah, I can. Okay, so I had uh, if you can see it, uh, Loris from uh, yeah, Spurs. I think they're going to be better. I, I, know. I think they're going to be better than they were last year. Um, it, but it was between him and Fabianski. It just really came down to a money issue. And I could save, you know, 0.5 million and put it towards somebody else. Um, Van Dyke, uh, I think it's kind of no brainer. I think if you take any three of those guys from Liverpool, that's the hot, you know, the hot button. Uh, and all three of those guys were rated probably the best defenders um, point wise in the league and actually get more points for a defender scoring goals and clean sheet. So Ooh. something to think about yeah, when you, you know, you, you, you know, you're picking your teams. Um, I, yeah, yeah, Diang or whatever, you know, from Everton, mm-hmm. I've heard good things about him. Uh, the guy from uh, Bolly, 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 Bolly from uh, Wolves. You know, some some data that I'd read and I share with a few people that have talked to me, just really a money ball kind of you know standpoint. There are certain teams that play a consistent roster every game, and something to think about. And one of them was uh, Wolves, uh, Bournemouth, um, and that you know that that guy is really high as far as points uh, accumulated from last year. I don't see them having a drop off. Um, you know, Salah, I mean, everybody's either going to Salah or Sterling. Um, uh, Sergensen from uh, Everton, I, I think they're going to have, they've got a good schedule. Mm-hmm. Bournemouth, Frazier, any of the guys from Bournemouth, they've got a very easy schedule the first three games. And that's really what you got to look at. Uh, Perez, I've heard good things. Him, uh, Milivinovic. Crystal Palace. Palace. Yeah, no, he's good. Yeah. I mean, but everybody, everybody wants to wants to go toward um, crap. Uh, what's his name? Um, the uh, the other one from Can't, Crystal Palace. Ah, everybody wants to go toward him. Yeah. And he's the sexy pick, but he actually is less money, and he gets just as many points. Yeah. And then uh, Wolves. Uh, it was either between him, uh, Jota, and Jimenez. He was cheaper, so I kind of went that route. Yeah. And on the bench, I had Button from uh, Watford. It, you know, I'm not going to play him. So why why am I going to yeah. spend the money? Yeah. You know, it, it, if I'm in a pinch, yeah. They, if I you know if I got to make a change, that's good. Yeah. How, how do you pronounce it? Is it Hilaire? Hilaire. Hilaire. Okay. I think he's going to be good, but there's no way in hell I'm starting him against Manchester uh, City first game. Not happening. Um, everybody's my luck, talking. Yeah, my luck would be that he, that would be the one if I had him and I didn't start him. That would be the one game that he'd score a hat trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Greenwood. 
from uh, Manchester United. Everybody's talking about him. He's cheap. He scored a lot of goals in the preseason. Uh, right. Coaching staff is very high on him. He's cheap. And if he's somebody you want to save some money on and, mm -hmm. and a gamble, I think it's a great move. And then uh, what's his name? Juan Bisca, whatever, from uh, Manchester United. He's cheap. Everybody thinks he's going to – I think he's going to play. He'll probably put up more points at Manchester United than he did at Crystal Palace. So, yeah, that's – that's my team. Right on. And then uh, no, nobody thinks their baby's ugly, so I no, think I've got a winner. Exactly. Um, let's see if I can actually pull mine up. Uh, my team. Okay, I can pull mine up. Uh, it's kind of um, weird. Let's see. Uh, let's try and get used to these <clears throat> windows here. All right. Uh, crap. Just bear with me, guys. This is uh, all new to me. All right. Um, make that bigger. You go to share screen and then just share that one screen. Yeah. No, I know. I just got to make this one bigger so that I can go back to this one. Can you ah. see this one? Okay. So I got Fabianski in goal. I have El Mohamedy from Villa. Uh, they're going to be actually a lot better than most people think this year. I have uh, Matt Lowton out of Burnley because they just uh, – I mean, he's usually good. He, he even scores goals. That's what I like about him. Uh, Richard Stearman, I've always loved him personally as a you know defender. Uh, he played a lot of games for Wolves and, and she uh, Sheffield um, United. So uh, Connor Cody, I, he's one of the Wolves players I actually enjoy watching. He's a really um, he's just my type of my type of uh, defender. So that's why I picked him regardless of the points. Um, I got four nows in the mid. I have a four three three going on, and I have Rick, Rick Carlson who's one of the you know one of the few players that we don't have that I wish we had signed and when we had an opportunity um, from Everton and then Mo Salah out of Liverpool if I was going to pick anyone from Liverpool I can't stand him as a player or person but I believe that he's just he's unreal I mean there's nothing around I mean there's yeah. no two ways around it um, you went with Jota and I went with Jimenez so yes. um, <laughs> Uh, Josh King is another guy that we could have signed uh, out of Bournemouth. He's a Norwegian international. I, I love him to death. I wish we had him on our team. Um, but now that we have Alaire, there's no need for another tall uh, type target man. So but anyway, I for shits and giggles, I said, you know, I want to put him on my fantasy team next to Aguero. And uh, Aguero is one of those guys, too, where I was like, you know, what? if I'm going to spend all my money on one guy, um, that would be the one guy. And he really wasn't that expensive, believe it or not. So... Um, Allison, backup keeper. Believe it or not, I have Allison from Liverpool backing up uh, Fabianski. <laughs> uh, James Tompkins, who's injured. That's um, what I call it fantasy. That's exactly, man. It's a fantasy. I, just, I, I thought this would be a lot of fun. Um, so James Tompkins, um, just because it's James Tompkins, i got to have him on my team, even though he's injured still. Um, Slattery out of, um, I believe it's Southampton. Um, I uh, it could be Sheffield, actually. Sheffield, uh, sorry, Sheffield United. See, I don't even know. I just uh, I know a guy with the last name Slattery. I'm like, ah, he was a good dude, and he passed away. So I thought that would be a good homage to him by uh, throwing him on there. Um, and then Czech Coyote, man. You know? Hey. Czech. So that's that's my bench. So 4-3-3, three, three, you see it there. And that's that really is Fabianski in goal on Tim's team. <laughs> it was just and, and you got him as your, vice, your second captain. That's right. That's right, man. You know? Because he, um, I feel that this will be the year he actually decides to, um, after all the bitching I did about him last year, he's actually going to have some clean sheets. So I think that will help me out quite a bit. So anyway, that was my fun little thing there. Anybody um, anybody laugh at my stuff? Let's see. Uh, no. Everybody's talking about kangaroos and spiders but in uh, Australia. So <laughs> awesome. All right. <laughs> so what do you, I mean? That's fun. So, hey, yeah, let's get into the names because there's 100 to pick from. Uh, pick what from. are some of your favorite fantasy team names in our league? Uh, let's start at the top here. Um, come on, Wires. That was, a, that was a good one. Come on, I Wires. Guess you know the joke on that one, right? No. What, what was one of the players that we signed that, you know, they always have the introduction video – and he wanted to say, come on, you irons. And it sounded like he was saying, come on, wires. <laughs> I don't remember that. That's funny. Oh, yeah. I, I got a chuckle when I saw that one. Um, Aaron Everett 
with Barcelona. Um, everybody, I think in the everybody in the in the West Ham universe, like, ooh, I got a great name, <laughs> Taller Back Girl. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's, that's Holly. Yeah, yeah, everybody's going with that one. Um, let's see, this is a good one. Uh, um, um, Bob, Bob Isa Diop. <laughs> <laughs> that was That's pretty awesome. good. I like that one. Yeah. Um, you know, John Parkinson in England um, named his team very simply put Peckers. Um, Peckers. Any, anytime I get to say the word Peckers, it. Uh, kinda, <laughs> I uh, hope Peckers wins the league. That would be yeah. funny. Uh, um, Real Ham Atletico. Uh, let's see. Pigeons playing FPL. That's that's kind of funny. Oh, he's. I think that he's from New York, so I think that's kind of a NYFC thing. Um, this to me, this one I keep coming back to is Wilshire Farm Foods. <laughs> that's what I keep coming back to. Wilshire <laughs> Farm. Uh, that is funny, man. I uh, missed that one. That's funny. Peter Peter McShay in Ireland. <laughs> Hand pumps. Um, hand pumps. I, I don't know if that's gas. I hope so. Um, uh, PK blinders. Yeah, PK blinders. I like that. Yeah, one. that one's yeah. pretty good. Um, there was another one that's pretty good. Uh, give me a second. Uh, um, there's another one. Uh, Vanilla rice. Vanilla rice is a good one. I like that. That's a, that's a good one. Um, that's uh, Jer Jeremiah from uh, Green Street Hammers. Yeah. So yeah, I think there's there's a few good ones in there, and, and you know, it's uh, it definitely takes uh, some creativity. Memento Bormorte. I mean, uh, after Luis uh, Bormorte, that uh, player that we had in the, the late two thousands. Felipe's uh, right foot. Felipe's right foot. Yep, and. Um. A lot of hammer rain. <laughs> hammer rain is. Uh, Wait, um, I missed that one. <laughs> uh, Dad stole my shares. That's a good one. Fucking uh, so sweet. No, dude, they, in, in just looking at um, some of the people that actually joined, we got a um, dude from Russia in here, man. Russian hammer. That's cool. Actually, I talked to him. I've chatted with him on Twitter. Um, what else we got? <sighs> Mick Fleetwood Town. <laughs> Mick Fleetwood Town. Fleetwood Town, that's the team that uh, Joey Barton is uh, managing down uh, League One, um, the third division of uh, English football. So Mick Fleetwood from Fleetwood Mac. That's kind of funny. Um, back girl, FC, hello, back girl. So there's two other back girls. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one is pretty, cool. pretty good. Uh, Bubbles. Treb year, Tre bubbles treble year, bubbles treble year, man. Hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, so yeah, I, I, yeah, we've got some good ones. Stay calm and carry on, <laughs> carry. Oh man, these people. So, um, yeah, just real quick, I'm gonna see if I can mention any more of the people that I recognize from the chat room here. I'm sorry, oh, Jesus Christ, the um, from the uh, the league here that have been on the show or are coming on the show. I know we've had Jeremiah Carson on the show. He was even on last night on uh, Scott's Scott Davis's show last night. We got Nick Stampar. His name is Take Me to Applebee's. Uh, I didn't get that one. I wanted to laugh, and I was like, an I don't know what that joke means. on Twitter. I mean, basically, he really loves Applebee's. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, David Oliver is a guy that we tried getting on the show a couple times, but I kept falling through. We'd love to get you back on the show, buddy. Uh, he's um, an Englishman living out in. Bakersfield? Bakersfield? Where I used to live. Oh, right on, man. Um, yeah, you should probably get him on the show with you. You might have some... That'd uh, be great. To talk about. Uh, Matt Gregory sounds... Oh, and Matt, yeah, Matt from Chicago Hammers, man. He um, he was on the show back in the day. He's Iron Stripes AFC. Chris Pacey from Houston Hammers, who's actually part of the supporters group down there, the Bayou Ironworks down there in Houston. Um, we haven't had him on the show yet, though. But uh, Clint Hall... Uh, Alaris Hooligans, or Hollers Hooligans, whatever you want to say it. 
uh, Dave Sperry, who I mentioned, Jay Logsdon, that's um, Mr. Iowa, the guy that you were on the show with. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, ain't no all our back girl. Um, James Stebbins, Issa General. Um, Jim Stebbins is in the chat room right now, as a matter of fact. Um, so, yeah, man, that's that's cool. And he's uh, been nothing but awesome for our show. He's been helping pump our Discord. Like you, with the Fantasy League, he's been with our Discord, which is awesome. Okay. Uh, and everything else. We've also had him on as a guest. I uh, do want to mention, there's a couple others I recognize, too. Uh, so many names to go through. This is awesome. But you did a great job, by the way, getting all these people in there. That's awesome. Uh, da -da -da. Holly Trevor Beaumont. So that's Tebow. Uh, if you guys in the tra chat room um, who are watching right now or even later, uh, Trevor is his name, Trevor Beaumont. He, um, he's in there too in, in this league. So uh, Peter Glynn, I uh, recognize that name. Uh, Nick Tucker from Cross Hammers, man. Nick Tucker. That's awesome. I'm so glad he joined. Uh, He's been on the show a couple times with us. And Jason Ewell just there. He said he was on the show before. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing all these people on our show at some point. Obviously, we're, I don't know if we're going to get through all 100, but you never know. If you do two at a whack and however how many weeks there are, 38 weeks, uh, I think you probably figure out a way to one or two guests or whatever and be able to get as many as you can into the show. And, uh, yeah. Or those who are willing. I mean, some of these people don't, you know, might not even want to be in front of the camera. I mean, that, that happens to me before. There's been a few like supporters groups where I've reached out to them and they said that we don't really have anyone that's comfortable getting on the camera. Hmm. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. We'll still promote you, I guess. And I mean, can't hurt. So, anyway. Well, uh, I, and one thing I want to, you know, say is I mean, all these people, there's an opportunity to, to grow this. And, and obviously, it's you know, just like sales. I mean, it's a referral business. And if there's an opportunity for you know, somebody to tell another friend, hey, you know, would you like to join me? And actually, if you go on the website, um, there is a place where you can invite friends. And I don't know if it's for the administrator or anyone, but it'll actually download actually to, to your Microsoft email. And it'll actually put the email out and have the code and everything. And you can send it out to other people. So, you know, being in the South, uh, you got a church on every corner. So I'm yeah. looking at this as like our outreach ministry. So if there's an opportunity to grow it, hey, you know, let's invite other people. Uh, yeah. More the merrier. It's a good opportunity again to to, to you know, meet other people and somebody you may not know or somebody who you know wants to you know get into get into English football. And again, it's uh, you know some people ask me, and I think I said this on the show the other day. I said, why you know why do you like like this i'm like because there's never an off season there's never no nope. and it's it's something that uh you just you kind of get into and it's a lot of fun yeah no, definitely um so we're gonna wrap it up now but listen I, I really appreciate that for all you guys watching the show right now and girls uh whatever um dogs cats i don't care um squirrels uh yeah let us know what you think about the new um look i guess you'd say we're going to be trying to get a figure out how to get a background on here and everything everything else this is the first time i've actually used the stream yard um but it's quick and easy and you know don't need an email to you know log in and all that other good stuff so i hope the sound was okay i hope we both looked as handsome as ever and um <laughs> oh, i hope it took off 30 pounds and, um yeah so <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so we got a show tomorrow night. Uh, I believe Wayne and what's his name? Uh, Lee, my original co host. <laughs> you guys are tight. Oh, we're looking tight. <laughs> <laughs> I love to say, I, that's, I, that's, I just call him what's his name all the time, even to his face. He's, I love Lee. Um, so, yeah, they, they got uh, Zach from Maryland Hammers on tomorrow night. Oh, on Thursday night, we got uh, me and yeah, I was going to interview a dude from uh, St. Louis Hammers called Dave Sperry, who's also in this league. So we might even mm -hmm. ask him a few questions about that. Be great. Um, and what else? Uh, Sunday, we got Stelios from Gaz and Wayne have Stelios at 2 p.m. Eastern time for um, Stelios is from, oh, Iron United. Yeah, Iron United's awesome. They're cool. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. And please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to join the show sometime, 
if you're in the league and you want to join this show, reach out to MS Hammers on Twitter. If you want to just get on our show, on one of our many different shows we got going on, uh, just reach out to American Hammers TV on any one of the so, geez, uh, any one of the social media platforms there are. I mean, we we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But I would really appreciate your subscribers. Because once we hit a thousand, we're going to give away something pretty cool. So. Um, help us get to a thousand. We're at like six. I'm sorry, seven twenty something right now. So keep on moving. All right, guys. Alex, thank you so much, my man. Hope you had a good time. Thank you. And uh, so, so you know, everybody, this is going to be your new Tuesday night host for the fantasy show. All right, guys. Come on, you irons.